Hi friends, Gary Hines here with part three of our 2014 Uganda update where we were in Uganda and Kampala sharing with the Portable Bible School. This particular uh, uh, segment we want to share with you some of the highlights of handing out the gospel bracelets as well as the uh, gospel necklaces. And a great big thank you to David and Darlene Sariano from Greater Bakersfield One Way Youth Ministries and uh, to Gretchen Gould from Jubilee Christian Church in Goleta, California. What an incredible blessing you were and we thank you so much. Uh, listen, you'll want to be sure that you watch the video through to its entirety near the end of this video. There's a special message from Natali Pius, our point man there in Uganda. So watch, be blessed, and encouraged. Here's the outside of Pastor Teo Grace's modest church building where we held our final New Faith Covenant Ministry mini-conference. Here's Kathy explaining the gospel bracelets at Pastor Teo Grace's church. As you can see, the children are really enjoying the bracelets. Here are some of those that attended our final FCM conference at Pastor Teo's church. Faith is an incredible intercessor, which is typical in our NFCM churches in Uganda. Kathy and I had the honor of meeting Pastor George and his wife, Esther, who pioneered the very first Pentecostal church in Uganda over 50 years ago. This couple are former Muslims. Now they preach Jesus Christ, Him risen, and glorified. Thanks to the Greater Bakersfield One Way Youth Ministry, and Gretchen Gould from Jubilee Christian Church for providing the bracelets and necklaces for this trip. What an incredible blessing they were. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Here we see Kathy handing out the bracelets. Thanks, David, Darlene, and One Way Youth Ministry. Here's Pastor Esther with her new necklace. She said to give Gretchen a great big thank you. Now here's a special message from Pastor Pius. Hello, I am Untali Pius, the national leader of New Face Covenant Ministry, Uganda. Uh, I'm here to send my appreciation and greetings uh, to Reverend Jim and Sylvia. Thank you very much for the wonderful vision that you have for our country, Uganda. We are so grateful for the work that is going on in our regions. We are so proud to have Reverend Gary working alongside New Face Covenant Ministry of Uganda. Every time he comes to Uganda, he has been a great blessing to us. And we are sending our greetings to you, Reverend Dr. Mayer. Uh, and Srivia, we look forward to seeing you coming to Uganda. We believe Uganda is a strategic nation as far as spreading the gospel of our Lord is concerned. And we are so excited for the work so far is being done, training our leaders and getting in touch with many pastors and many churches. So we are so excited. We just send our love. My wife Brenda is sending our love. We would be together with me we, on this time. We, so we bless you and we send our greetings and love. May the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. You are a blessing to Uganda. I know that that was an encouragement to you. And uh, we want to thank you for your faithful support to FCM Missions. Uh, you're making things happen, not only you in Uganda, but in Ecuador, Poland, Germany, the Caribbean, uh, through the ministry, Jim and Sylvia. And, Wayne and Jewel Lindsay and uh, also Bobby and Lori and their family in Ecuador. You know, a few years ago there was a movie entitled, it's a classic movie, It's a Wonderful Life. And uh, I want you to know that because of your faithful support, we're able to equip pastors to allow the people of Uganda and Eastern Europe, the Caribbean and northern part of uh, South America, to experience the wonderful life that they can find through Jesus Christ. It's because of your faithful support that that's happening. And we want to thank you from the very bottom of our heart on behalf of all those hundreds and thousands of people that you're impacting on a global level. 
Listen, we trust that you'll have an awesome Christmas and holiday season. Listen, we want to remind you that you're loved and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. God bless you and Merry Christmas.